What's up YouTube? Bandit back with you again for another install video for the 2021 Street Glide Special. So today I have this accessory ball mount from Ciro 3D that I will be installing onto the bike with their GoPro mount or action camera mount accessory here. So it should be a pretty quick and easy install. Um, essentially this piece will go right here. So I will pull the winch or loosen that center bolt for the windshield, slide it down between the fairing and the windshield, and then put the bolt back or the windshield bolt back in. And then it will stick out to about here in front of the fairing where I can mount another GoPro for multiple angles while riding uh, for some better content for you all. So we'll go ahead and we will get these packages open and uh, get to the install. So here is the instructions for it. So it says park on a level surface, shut off the motorcycle, ensure that the engine has time to cool before installation. Loosen the center windshield bolt with the T27 Torx enough to fit the mount between the inner fairing and the windshield. Slide the fairing mount in between the windshield and the inner fairing and then apply light pressure down on the fairing mount. Use the T27 Torx to tighten the center windscreen, windshield bolt. Be careful not to over tighten, you can strip the brass insert in your fairing. So pretty, like I said, quick and easy install for this guy. So overall quality of the part itself. So this is gonna be a metal part. Nice quality. Obviously I bought it in black to match the bike. And something I did not know, but it has this little rubber bottom piece, which is nice to keep it from marring up the top of the gloss black inner fairing. So Looks like there is some slight damage right there where it's missing some paint and right there. But overall, I'm not too concerned about that. Not too noticeable. So go ahead, get the windshield bolt or the Torx uh, loosened and then get into installing this. So a lot of times I find it easier instead of just loosening the bolt to actually just completely remove the bolt. It just makes it easier instead of trying to make sure that the bolt is out of the way. So we're just going to completely remove the bolt. Now I'm just going to take this part here. And I'm going to try and slide it down in between the windshield and that fairing. All right, so I am catching on the top of that brass fitting, it looks like. So trying to do this one-handed is not extremely easy. So I'm going to set down the camera just to get this slid down in there. So all I'm going to do is just pry out a little bit on this and then push down on that. But I need both my hands to do it, so I'll be right back. All right. So now... Um, off camera, I loosened up both the outer ones as well to be able to pull out a little bit easier to get that slid down in there. So now I'm just going to retighten everything back down to the 25 to 30 inch pounds. On all of the bolts here. that one there's that one all 
and there's the last one so I didn't actually turn this one to where it clicked on this center one for 25 inch pounds just because it being now gapped away with the mount being behind it I don't want to tighten that center one down as much and risk cracking the fairing so I just put this one to where it's snug to not really turning with very lightly trying to turn it and yeah I could put some more oomph behind it and then get it to that 25 but again with this mount now being behind it I don't want to risk pulling this fairing in too much and cracking it so I'm going to leave it at that I will recheck that after riding to make sure this center bolt has not loosened up uh, but um, that's where my comfort on tightening that one is so show you what this looks like from the back side so there it is sticking out right in the center the little ball coming out over top of that vent here so now all that's left is this package and so this package here is your instructions so I mean, again, it's pretty straightforward. It does come with its own um, hex head screw and lock nut that you run through this portion for your uh, camera itself that'll mount onto those little tabs. But we're gonna go ahead and slide this on. So first thing is this goes over Yep, that direction. So closed back, open side. So the closed side goes away from you. And then this pops on, just like that. And then all you do is take this ring and you just start screwing it on to hold that in place. Just like that. So now all we're gonna do is check for center before I tighten it up too much. So there we go. Let's tighten that down. Now, all we would do is mount our camera on there. So let me go grab my other GoPro real quick and show you how that looks. Be right back. All right, so I got my GoPro Hero 10 here. Uh, here is the bolt and the lock nut for the Ciro mount. All right, so now all we're gonna do is take the GoPro. We're gonna slide it down into these grooves. Make sure that our holes are all lined up about right there and I'm gonna take the lock nut put it into that recess that's on this side and we're gonna take our screw and thread it in from the other side I'm gonna start screwing it holding that lock nut to make sure I don't push it out the back side All right, and then we'll just take our Allen key or a hex head and tighten it the rest of the way down. All right. And there it is. Other GoPro mounted rear facing to get some different camera angles for you guys as I'm riding. Uh, so in a previous video, I said how I couldn't get the video to work off my GoPro Hero 10. I did a bunch of troubleshooting. I contacted GoPro themselves. Um, they tried to help me the best they could and it wasn't really working. 
Um, and then I did some more additional troubleshooting on my own. And I finally got the camera to work with recording video and audio and working with my editing software. So going forward, we'll be able to do the multiple camera angles with this camera, which was I'm happy about. So that way I didn't just waste all the money on a GoPro Hero 10 that was not usable for me. So sitting on the bike, I'll give you a view like that. Let me set this down. All right, and so there it is, rear facing. I may end up turning this mount around. This is going crazy because I lifted it off its kit stand. I don't have my keys on me. Um, so I may end up turning this mount. Let me set it back down before it alarm starts going off. And go grab those keys. All right, grab the keys. So now it's no longer getting angry at me. But as I was saying, I may end up reversing this to where this face is downward. So that way the camera isn't quite as high, but we'll do some rides with it like this. See how I like it at that angle versus turning it around, uh, turn, turning this mount the other direction. So the camera sits a little lower and see how we like it from there. But that's it for this video. Uh, so let me know what you guys think of this zero gopro mount and like i said it looks pretty clean easy install i did you know like i did say i loosened the directions did not say to do it but i went ahead and i loosened the two outer i pulled this one completely out and then i loosened the two outer uh fairing screws as well just to be able to pull the fairing out a little bit easier and not put so much stress right here in the center because those were in tight. So again, that was my personal preference. You could probably get away with doing it with just take or just loosening that center bolt or taking it out. But just to relieve some of the stress on the fairing, I went ahead and loosened the other ones as well. That's all I have for this video. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you got any questions or anything, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below as well. And I'll do my best to answer them. And if you like the content that I'm putting out, hit that like button for me and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And as always, stay safe out there, keep the rubber side down, and I'll see you on the road. Banded out.